Hey, everybody. Sleeping yep. late as usual, eh, Snake? Maybe. Liquid, you're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too yeah. bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Well, most of your fighting. cause is gone. What are you really after? The restoration of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. Yeah. When he was young during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. You can't launch the weapon. Conflict Major shall bring conflict. New hatreds will where, arise. Where are you getting this from? And our own biosphere shall steadily expand. Shall it? But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? To stop a well, nuke? I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Technically, no. That was... I tranquilized them, <laughs> or ran away from them. I, I watched your face as you delivered the coup de grace. Oh, it reflected such no, vitality. You're wrong. There is a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already uh, in the coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Question? Super yep. baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. That's a lot. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six <gasps> of the fetuses Why? to encourage strong fetal growth. What? You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Uh oh, okay. Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. Yeah, murderers. So, it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig Did to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. Where? You took everything from me before I was even born. Did we call you the Wambulance? But you and I aren't his only children. What? The Genome Soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. 
but unlike us, they carry it digitally. With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible God, for everything that from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Hey, killer Those instinct. soldier genes fun, were transplanted using gene therapy Combo into the breaker. members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. That's right. Easy. The genome soldiers that you've been killing right and left. I haven't are killed anybody. Brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers. All of the enemies. They are misshapen creatures, artificially produced from father's genetic pattern. They are our blood brothers, and they were born of many an ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifices. Oh my God! You are so full of questions. Human experiments. Huh? 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War Syndrome was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. The Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then hey, don't chemical or biological weapons. <clears throat> that shit is fucking real. The poison gas detection units and the anti-sarin injections, they were all just to cover up the secret genetic experiments. Oh, so then, that is mop level so four. Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans. That shit are... sucks being yes. even for just like an they hour. too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We're on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Well, one half is equal Nature to the other half. tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The oh, genome no, symmetry. soldiers asymmetry suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. So you got one half and he has the other. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. Well, good luck launching you want getting big it boss's of DNA so you can save your family. I said goodbye. It's very touching. <laughs> In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do Unless you, know you why? live down in like Bama or something. Because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. That we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very genes. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't oh, fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then, I'm going to go beyond, in order to break the curse of my heritage. How do you know exactly what your genes are telling you and to do? To that, do? First, I know that your genes make up what I you will kill you are. You. But like, is that behind like, you? You know, because I have a twisted sense of humor. That's because my genes say I oh, have a twisted sense of humor. Is she alive? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. And because I survived the torture Poor scene, she continues to be alive. Calling your name. 
Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No. Does not tell you. We have you. no past, no future. If we did, our fate is nothing but what is determined in the genes we inherited from our father. Let Meryl go. As soon as we finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? And... Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me! The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. Oh yeah, that's what? another good one. Metal Gear they is to set destroyed. Off on the Tell the Secretary of Defense. Alaska. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. So he's going to drop a nuclear bomb idea. to vaporize okay. all the evidence, along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. Will wow. you? I may be only a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. Okay. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. Ah. You'd better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. Huh? What are you doing? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it! Wasn't he what in happened? a submarine? Snake, the, the Colonel! <laughs> Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. So this dude this is, is the now Secretary on a of Defense, Jim Hausman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he is a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You <coughs> bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Damn it! You'll be murdering everyone here! The scientists, the genome army, everyone! Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. Yeah? So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. Really? He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. You're just the lingering ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb. What a dick. <laughs> oh, there's no way out for us. 
Oh, so you were listening in. Cool. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. And you tried to blow up the world, so... I shall nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. How would you do that? She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? The this will be the time time. Limit for our final battle. I used to have one. When one death or two comes for this girl, are fun. this was nuclear was funny module my shall vanish from this they world all as run well. The exact same radio if you win, so you point, might still his, be able to mine, save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. I've seen some of these ones get up to like 30, 40 miles an hour. Granted, they're gas powered. Still. Key on Matrix! Ooh, Semtex. And if you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it'll kill even you. How about you, Snake? Hi and here we go. So, how long has that been? Like 10 minutes? Holy crap, 16 minutes. And I'm just now getting the gameplay. <laughs> so, this is Delta Play Gaming, your fabulous host. Having a good day. I, will, I don't think I have enough time to talk about it today. I'll probably talk about it tomorrow's video. Oh, come on. This is Metal Gear Solid, Twin Snakes. We are in the penultimate episode. So looking forward to it. Damn it! A kick to so much damage. I've seen a way for speedrunners to get him, um, like, hooked up in the, I think it's this, uh, the upper right corner by that ray dome or whatever, to get him, like, glitched up in there, then they just do like this, just punch, 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 and just cut down the timer, but I haven't looked at how to do it. Damn it! Something just popped. That was luck. Oh. What's wrong, Snake? Come on, come on. Damn it. Better hurry. I'm it's probably going to, going to lose. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, dude. Whoops. Oh, that works. Oh, hurry! One minute left. One, two, three, four. Whoa! Yep, I. You're out of time. Whoa! That was just a bad spot to see. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that probably would have killed me. One more punch. Come on. And there we go. That is the liquid snake beat down. Oh, headbutt. This is some like UFC shit. Which actually, I just found out recently that they just scored the most like 
the fastest UFC knockout in history. I think two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. Uh, I only found I only heard about it because uh, I saw a clip about it on Joe Rogan, his podcast thing. He did like a highlight and talked about it. Oh, that sounded crunchy. And uh, yeah, like as soon as the round started, a dude ran up and just flying me and knocked the other dude out. Like five seconds or less. Snake! And of course, there's no way that he's gone. Come on, get up! Oh, wait, we have to pause for the uh, blooming, budding Snake. romance in the action film. Is that you? No. Snake, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Can we go now? Would that be better? Meryl, I mean, we are kind of on top of it. It wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them. <laughs> South Park strong. Was it strong? To you. Yeah. Was it I felt no. like you were there with me. Oh, what is your name? It gave me the strength to go on. PC principal. I was scared. Is it like the teacher strong woman? I'm sorry. Is that her role? I don't, don't know. It's that. been a while since I've watched South Park. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame. There was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. Hey, we kind of have to go now. Like, there's a bomb on the way. Mm, that's my codec. Cold shower. Snake, it's me. It looks like you stopped Rex. I'm sorry if you get me that your suit gone. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. Oh, I sounded very flat. Too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No, it's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know? 
Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't to be die in the sequel, me. that's all right. Same to you. Take care of Merrill, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that sounds nice. I believe in you. I believe Thanks, you. Snake. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where is Otacon? He's fighting right now. With his old self, to be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah, and I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Yeah, let's run him holding hands. And then he breaks his knees. Why would you fall like that? <clears throat> if he misses catching Snake. you, you basically just Mel. bounce your head off the floor. Time to go. It started. I must be Getting heavy. close for me to wrap Looks up Looks like episode. we're not going to have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. Deus Ex Machina. Sneaking suit. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. Where don't you get your coat? Done, done, done. Mm, looking good, Snake. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.